name is Stefan Kunz and in today's video, I'm going to show you my process of how I do ribbon lettering. So let's get started. I'm going to draw on a 4,000 by 5,000 pixel canvas in landscape mode. This allows me to draw up to 22 layers, which should be more than enough for this simple project. Before I get started with sketching, I'm going to check my layers and brush panels to make sure I got the right tool selected. I'm using a pencil brush, which you can actually get for free with some other great tools. The link is in the description. I start by drawing two guidelines, the baseline and the X height. For the word, I've chosen to letter beauty. I begin by roughly sketching it out. It's important to keep a light touch and not to make it pretty or perfect. See, I might have drawn this a tiny bit large and need to scale it down just a little to finish the word. Dabbling a bit with the flourishes, it's all about trying the different variations until you're happy with how it looks. I go over it a second time, this time giving it more conscious and weight. Since we're going for a ribbon look, by simply duplicating a layer and dragging it to the side, I create myself the guideline to sketch the word with a ribbon style. I find it easiest to start out with elements that I know and try to focus that my fictional downstrokes go through the front and the lighter upstrokes will go through the back. To help me visualize it, I'll color in the back side of the ribbon in black and leave the front white. Again, the goal of sketching isn't to make it pretty or perfect, but to help you visualize the idea. Happy with the sketch, I create a new layer and start finalizing my drawing using my Stefan Kunz sketch brush, which you can also get for free, to draw the outlines of my base layer, regardless of the ribbon folds. You can either increase the streamline dial in your brush settings to draw smoother lines, draw a line and wait till it snaps to a perfect curve, or as I like to do it mostly, using the diagonal of the screen and arm movement to draw the best possible curves. I create a separate layer for the second ribbon. This isn't necessary, but I thought it would be better to separate them. I changed the sketch layer to the top, so it helped me to know which parts I need to color in. In the next step, I'm going to use clipping masks. These are special layers that will only color in the base layer. In this case, only the ribbon I selected. I could also use alpha lock to color it in, but in the event that we would want to change the color, clipping masks help you work undestructively. To color in the back side of the ribbon, I'm using the same red, but dropping the lightness from 100% to 50.
Since I missed some spots, I need to switch to the bright red ribbon layer and correct these in order to color in the back side of the ribbon as well. Alright, this already looks great, but to add even more realism, shadows and highlights can make a huge difference. I'm going for the fast and easy way by creating a new clipping mask and select the content of the layer below with the dark red. This enables me to draw only with a darker red layer. I work to draw shadows at every fold and wherever they cross each other and repeat it on the second ribbon as well. Finally, add some shadows on the lower part of the ribbon and highlights on the top to really bring it out. And for an extra strap, I duplicate the base layer Alpha lock and turn it to black Turn alpha lock off and move it to the side Scale it down a little and add some Gaussian blur I think we're done now it's your turn. Show me what you got, share it on social media with the hashtag Stefan Kunz Letters. And I'm excited to see what you come up with. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this type of content. Please let me know in the comments below what type of content you want to see next. And hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next week. Bye. I'm